Are you over 55 and worried about falling over and breaking your bone? In this video, we're going to turn that fear into a concrete plan of action with a three-pillar exercise strategy designed to reduce your fracture risk and build confidence in your body. G'day, it's Jack and Alicia from Be Mobile Physiotherapy, your experts in strength and fitness for over 55s. We've listened to thousands of our B-Mobile online members, and we know that the fear of sustaining a fracture is very real, and it's a legitimate fear. The statistics show that one in three women over 50 will experience an osteoporotic fracture. But in this video, our goal is to shift the focus from fear to action. And this three-pillar exercise strategy isn't just our opinion. It's taken from the most recent osteoporosis guidelines from the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners. It's time to take control. Let's get started. Before we get into pillar one, it's important to understand the two significant risk factors for a fracture, the two things that this plan is specifically designed to overcome. The first, of course, is low bone density. If we don't have structurally strong bones, we are more prone to a fracture. That is what pillars one and two are going to address. The second big risk factor is falling over. In fact, more than 90% of hip fractures result from a fall. But that's actually good news because if we can address the fall, we can drastically reduce the risk of fracture. In fact, the evidence shows that a combination of functional balance exercises and resistance training can reduce the rate of falls by up to 34%. So now that we understand the risk factors, let's jump into pillar one. Our first pillar is one of the most powerful tools you have for building bone, and that's progressive resistance training, or put simply, lifting weights. But there's a key word in there, and that is progressive. Think about what happens when you first start gardening in the spring. At first, the work is hard on your hands, but over time, they adapt by getting tougher and forming calluses. Your bones react in the same way. When you first lift a challenging weight, this creates a stress on your muscles and bones. This stress is a signal that leads to the building of stronger bones. But if you keep lifting that same weight, you are no longer challenged by it. The stress stops and so does the signal. So put simply, you have to progress, which means gradually building the challenge over time. Let me show you how to do this with a key bone building exercise. The overhead press is a fantastic exercise for building bone in the upper body. Start with a moderately challenging weight. It should not feel easy, but you'll notice that as you get stronger over time, the weight will start to feel easy. And that's when it's time to progress to a heavier weight. This is what progressive resistance training is, and you need to keep repeating this process so that you're challenged and you can build stronger bones. The second pillar in our strategy also targeted at bone building is impact loading. Now, the word impact can sound a little scary, especially if you've been told your bones are vulnerable. You might be thinking that this is too much stress, but the evidence shows that this is exactly the type of stress that your bones need to grow. When you land from a jump, there's a ground reaction force which travels up through your skeleton, and this is a key signal for your bones to grow. But it's not an all or nothing game. The key is to finding a manageable starting point for you. Let me show you how. So you don't have to start with a full impact jump. Instead, a starting place might be heel slams. Find a bench, we're going to come up onto our toes and then slam our heels down into the ground, aiming for that impact force like that. And then once you're growing confidence and you can tolerate it, you could go with a mini jump with some bench assistance. And then over time, aiming for maximum impact, we can go to some bigger jumps where we're really looking for maximum force through the ground. Now, you don't have to do all of these in week one. You just got to find a tolerable starting point and then progress over weeks, if not months. And that brings us to our final pillar, one that is often forgotten when it comes to reducing fracture risk, and that is high challenge balance training. While strength and impact training make your body more resilient to fracture if you fall, good balance training makes it less likely that you'll fall in the first place. It's the most direct form of fracture prevention. 
But here's what's important. The guidelines specify that it must be high challenge. This isn't just standing still on one leg. It's teaching your body to react to the unexpected. Let me show you two high challenge balance exercises that will reduce your fracture risk. Good balance isn't just about standing on one leg. It's about training your feet to move quickly so you can stay upright. A good example is practicing fast feet on a book like this. So as you can see, I'm moving my feet quickly and this is training my ability to react if I do lose my balance. Another example is ice skaters. So this is shifting weight from one leg to the other. Now the important thing here is you want it to be challenging. So at the moment, I'm not wobbling or having to recover my balance. But if I take a bigger step from side to side, I'm having to wobble my hips and ankle to retain my balance. So the key is to really challenge yourself with balance training so you can remain upright and reduce your fracture risk. So the evidence-based roadmap for reducing your fracture risk is clear. Build your bone density with progressive resistance training and impact loading and install your fall proofing system with high challenge balance training. This is how you move from a place of fear to a place of control. And we want to leave you with one final powerful message directly from the osteoporosis guidelines. People with osteoporosis should be encouraged to do more and not less in terms of exercise. It's important that healthcare professionals adopt a positive and encouraging approach to exercise that does not create a sense of fear. And that's our message to you today. You are capable, you can reduce your fracture risk and build bone density if you take action. Speaking of taking action, why don't you check out our completely free full body strength and balance workouts over at B Mobile Physio online. There's a link in the description, you can check it out there.